Today I'm going to talk about, how to factory data reset your iPhone X, XS, XS Max, and XR. No need to worry, this is the same for all X models. So we have to restore your iPhone to fix this up. This process will erase all data and contents, so let's get started. What we have to do is just have to do the same in the way. You just have to connect one end to the PC or laptop and the other end to your iPhone like this. You have to connect it. Okay. So once connected, you just have to make sure that the screen it is turn it on. So now what you have to do is just have to get into recovery mode and do this stuff. You just have to press volume up followed by volume down, then press and hold power button until your iPhone gets into recovery mode. So now as you can see that it is successfully got into recovery mode, and now from here, you have to follow the instructions. Now here after the instructions hereafter is the same for all the iPhone models. As you can see, there's an option to restore your iPhone, tap on that. Then tap on agree. Then, at the top right of iTunes, you can see that the software is getting downloaded. The software is around 6.13 GB. So let's wait for it to get downloaded completely. Note that recovery mode will not stay longer. So, your iPhone will get out of recovery mode if the download takes long. So, if the iPhone goes out of recovery mode, it will not affect the download. You can re-enter into recovery mode once the download is complete. You don't have to download the software once again. Get into recovery and you can restore at the spot without downloading again. And the important thing is, doing this process will erase all content and will be reset to factory default. So guys, Snow, as you can see that we have successfully downloaded and as you can see, it is getting processed. So, it is getting extracting the software, so you just have to wait for that too. Now, as you can see that the iPhone is getting restored.
Now, your PC says that the iPhone is restored. So let's move to the iPhone. So guys, as you can see that we have successfully fixed the issue. And now we've successfully fixed iPhone is disabled, connect to iTunes, and this is how you can fix this up. And we hope this video is helpful, and if you find this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe our channel and if you have any kind of doubts, do ask in the comment section and we'll be getting back to you. See ya. Take care.